Do I push the button? Is that already really wrong? It's got a square in it, and I thought it should Bill, be. you've been lying for 21 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bill! <laughs> Why don't you tell us about the coin you dug? Okay. Oh. Oh, that's a coin, Bill. It is a bingo! Welcome, Stealth Digger Nation, to a brand new episode. As you know, Sindian, Spectrum Bill, Tin Man Cliff have been in the continuum for weeks now, it seems. But before we go digging today, Tin Man has to go home to Colorado. Adios, muchachos. And to save him the walk, Bill, who's been messing around with Crystal since he's been here, is gonna send Cliff home via the space time continuum to save him. Some time. Some time. Airfare. Yeah. Second bag check-in. So, no, I, I've given you the. Uh, we'll see, buddy. Charlie, the quick uh, tutorial on the, this. Yep, I have a so, quick tutorial. Let her rip. Continuum travel for dummies. Apply power. Up the gain. Yeah. Go to eleven now. Oh. Thank you. Okay, Cliff. Have a safe trip. Bye, Cliff. Bill. Oh, no, 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 wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Oh, oh, oh. You, gotta, you gotta bring her back quick, cause. All right, All right. I had the load switch in the wrong position. I'll yeah, bring her back. And, okay, well, oh. that's a little bit better. <gasps> well, welcome back, how was the trip? <laughs> how oh, every time. I'm leaving till tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? No, I've got to change this. Could be. Cliff, I'm sorry you didn't make the trip. Yeah, I thought I was gonna wear out my shoes. <laughs> okay. I've got you. I've got you all set now. Bye, Cliff. No. no. Bye, Cliff. Try oh, it now. Oh. Over here. See. Power. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We're good now. Bye, Cliff. All right. Well, now that that's done and over with. Okay, the right one's gone. Yes. Good. Good. Oh, all right. Good. So, <clears throat> are you ready to dig? All oh, ready. It. We are going to go to a cellar hole in the general area of where I dug the GW butt. Yeah. Huh? Not that site, but in the general area, so... Same time frame. Yeah. Very cool. And then, we're gonna hook up with the one and only Faceless George for a field hunt. Don't want, a, don't want an accidental discharge. No. How far did you send him this time? I sent him all the way home. All the way. Yeah. He's not gonna have to walk the dusty road to get there. <laughs> He should end up right at home. Actually, you know what? To save some more time, why don't you just take us right out to the woods? Yeah. Excellent. Oh, full power. Yeah, and do the coordinates were here and there. Yeah, that'll get that'll get us yeah, there. Get there. Okay. Everybody ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. What a run. This is good. This is good. You see that? That's the lip. And the beautiful thing about a lip like that is that the artifacts have a tendency of surfacing more as opposed to traveling down because, well, it's on a slope, so. The only problem is the hole is a bit messy, but we'll make do. Well, at the least, we're gonna get a culture. Really? Part of a hoe. Part of a hoe? Yeah. Oh, well, it sounded clean. Yeah, didn't it? There's your culture, Keeble's hoe. So, 22 casing. Cindy digs foil at the same time. Bill digs a pull tab. Good start at the cell hole, right? Bill has a proper culture. There we go, Bill. Clean? As far as I can tell with the lighting. Yeah. 
but that's more along the lines of what we expect at a cellar hole that's pretty remote uh, and really old. We should be able to find a button within minutes, hopefully indicating that it um, hasn't been groped. All right, I walk away from Bill, literally right over to Cindy. I hear a nice little 55 on my whites. Oh, with shank. Shank you very much. Nice little flat button. I don't think there's anything on it. This is and look, right here, yeah. this deep, just on the surface. Well, that's what I was saying uh -huh. to the people watching, is that when you have a lip like this, the stuff tends to make it more to the surface than it does deeper. So. Gonna be a good day. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go dig a button. Look at this. That shotgun shell was under that rock. So as we're noticing, there's some shifting that happened here, probably from loggers long ago, which means we've got to work a little bit harder in some areas. And Cindy is still working over in the area where she dug her first button. Guess what? A ring. The plating's coming off. Oh wow, that's the plating that's unfolding. I've never seen, I've never seen something like that. So interesting. Huh. Wow. Who knew? Incredible. One of my favorite finds, uh, rings, it's not because it's a precious metal in any way, it's, that was an important piece to somebody. Yes. Bravo. Cool, cool find. Oh, cool. Nice iron relic. So I thought I heard Joe laughing. Cindy just dug a memorial over there. I had a feeling Joe was going to show up with that. All right, well, here I am in the lip. I just got a mid 60s signal. And look at that, the way the plug is open. I know what that is. Let's hope if we get the wiggle, there's more. Oh. Computer. I'm still looking for one. I hope you find one. Very nice. Well, let's check to see. Hopefully the rest is in there. So, no more of the spoon, but as I'm working around the lip here, look at this. See that all that cut? Look at all the stumps. That's what we were talking about, the logging and shifting. Unfortunately, they dumped a massive amount of it on the back side, but I still got some room in here. For signals. All right, well, looks like I finally got a button. Oh, with leather? I got a button with cloth. You did, Keeb's got a button too. That is awesome. All right, coming over to see Keebs. Look at that, you're on the board, man, with everyone else. We all got buttons. Bent over shank. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's got some type of writing on the back, something I ain't never seen before. Very nice. Yep. All right, back over at my hole, we have the handle of a very itty bitty pewter spoon. And there's more in there. Nail. Ah, there it is, the bowl. Perfect. Check again. And there's the midsection. So we got the entire spoon just in pieces. Nice. I haven't dug a three piece spoon in a while. So we're off to a good start, and uh, just gonna take the moment. As we here in the group always say, it's the old world and gentleman thing to do is bring your friends cigars and offer them a snap. I wanna thank Spectrum Bill for bringing me these H. Upman cigars. So I'm gonna smoke this while we're digging the hole together, and um, I appreciate it, Bill, thank you. It's gonna be good.
guess what that is? That's right. It's an oxen shoe. Yeah. Oh no. Look at that. A dinnerware knife. See? That's why it pays to dig those signals that just don't sound all that attractive. What have you extracted? Oxen shoe. Nice. I don't know why I'm so happy. I, I heard I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> it's weird around here. No, it's... Hey, you could start your own plethora. And you know what? All right, here's an interesting thought. You're in the chimney stack in the middle of the house. And you're... An oxen shoe? <laughs> The way it rolls around Saskatchewan. So Keebs calls me over. He's basically in the old road. This is what is interesting and brought him over here. Lots of iron. There's a bit of a lip here too, going up to this tree. Yeah. And right where he is, he'll tell you the story. I was born at a very early age. I, it's probably a small carriage house or something of the sort it's right here. So deep, but it was very, very clear. When I pulled it up, I swore it was going to be a coin. You'll probably think it was a coin. Oh, boy. Oh, my. Keebs, that's got stuff on both sides. Yeah. And you know what neighborhood we're in. Pineapple. 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 Yeah. Huh. Mm. I wouldn't mind using your brush. This side has flour. Can you see that? Yeah. You know? Was once was a, a shank. Right. Yeah. You can see the dimple. Yeah. That's a one heck of a body. Keeps scores in the fancy department, and also, he did a, another orbit and found another hole down the road. And we have access to all this, so yeah. let me go get them. We're gonna move on to the next hole. This has been fun and good and stuff, but it's quiet. It's real quiet. All right, good job. Well, this is something we can come back to at some point and yeah. recap. All right, well, I'm coming up to get Bill and Cindy and... Oh, yeah. Wow, it's a big one. Yeah, it's definitely Tom back being broken like that. Yes, that's a big one. It's right at the base of that little tree. This is where I dug uh, my spoon bowl handle. I think you're literally standing on my plug. Ah, I couldn't tell. It's just invisible. Stealthy. Stealthy. But... It goes in the Purdue box, along with oh, nice. my first two. Nice. You're up button. two and two-thirds buttons. <laughs> Make it a third. Two and a third. Two and a third buttons. Very good, Bill. All right. Keep said ba head back to the new kit, and we'll go into the next hole. On my way. All right. Well, we're at the next hole. Cindy walks in, digs a baby ox, and she right off the bat. And I get this signal. Rather low, but solid. Oh, wow. Here's something interesting. We just had an episode in the Continuum called The Other Side, and Jeremiah dug something like this, but it had the chain on it. With help from the viewers, they informed us that this item went to a whale oil lamp. That's my first. Very cool. It's like a frying pan, no handle. Nice. Almost looks like a gold pan. Yeah, yeah. It's got the rivets. Right. All right, Spectrum Bill. This is the first time he's ever done this. He's calling me over for a live dig. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! You know he feels pretty optimistic about this. Best signal you've had all day, huh? Best signal I've had all day. Good large scent number. As I don't know the, the copper's numbers of having not dug one. <gasps> oh, you got something, Bill. Would you do the extraction? Cindy's coming over. Let's let her extract. That's a great idea. I'll film. Oh. Oh, oh that's a coin, Bill. It is a bingo. Nice. Oh, boy. I need a flashlight. Do I see? Yes. One cent? Or I see a matron here. Beautiful, Bill. Bill got his bingo. Yes. That's awesome. As we're all about thrusting today, let's bounce out to the shack and go see what that looks like. Let's awesome. clean it up at the shack and see what it is. Hello, Stealth Figure Nation. Spectrum Bill from the shack displaying his 1817 
Coronet Liberty Head Large Set, also known as a Matron. These coins were produced from 1816 to 1839. They were minted all in Philadelphia and were designed and engraved by Robert Scott. They are made of 100% copper and therefore come up different on the detector than some of the other large sets do. Pure. There are two varieties of this coin, one with 13 stars like the one that I found and another with 15 stars, a rarer variety. But Spectrum Bill, tell them why an 1817 coin, why is that coin special to you? This is my oldest U.S. coin to date. And he's Doug. I've yeah. done a lot of old coins, but this is the oldest American coin I've done. Oh my God! <laughs> Here's one for 1817. May 15th, opening of the first private mental health hospital in the United States. The Asylum of the Relief of Persons Deprived of the Uses of Their Reason. May 16th, Mississippi River Steamboat Service begins. On April 15th, the first American school for the deaf opens in Hartford, Connecticut. And in 1817, the territory of Mississippi split in two, forming the state of Alabama, which was admitted as the 20th state in the Union. Alabama now. That's not part of the... Yeah, you get no points towards challenge. the challenge no for that. <laughs> right by this tree. Yeah. About six inches deep. Here's a nice little... Is that a dandy button? It's all... Look at that. It is. Nice and green and beautiful. I've never seen a dandy button that folded. Awesome, you get to take it's home a colonial button with you. Awesome, they beautiful for how the shape it's in. <laughs> yeah, for the I'm age. I'm happy about the age. Yeah. Yes, colonial. Nice scrape on that one. Oh. Because I thought it was only this one. Huh. And you check that area good? Yes, that's it. That's interesting, actually. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. That's, oh, yeah. What, no. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. Wait, it's oh. similar. Um, oh. It's Whoa. similar. That is so. Oh. It's got a different. My hands This oh. edge oh. is different. It's got a different edge. But the cannon with the. There's the cannon. Cannonballs. There's the wing. E pluribus unum, the line oh of stars, the tips of the eagle's wings. Oh but we don't know what God. this one is. I will let you extract though. I just swung over a uh, mid 60s, 70s signal, which is brass. Cool. It's brass. Okay. And uh, I actually started to put my hand on it and threw it back in because I was like, oh my God. I had to move that aside. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, it's so exciting. Ready? Yeah. It's big. Be there in a minute, Keeps. Oh. oh, is that not beautiful? Damn. That's wow. beautiful. Wow. And I'll tell you, it wasn't the best signal in the world, but the numbers were good. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I, that might be the largest complete escutcheon, complete escutcheon I've ever dug. Yeah, that's a great one. You got something over there? Yeah. Oh, good. Pretty good signal here. And, uh, Obviously, there's a huge rock on, on top of it, so I had to dig down and under. So I reached under there, and I stopped in my tracks. Oh, yeah, you're right under a rock. Because um, I, I felt what it was. And what it is, is... Ta-da! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, complete. Yeah. See yeah. how this sounds. Not bad. Good job. All right, I just walked away from him, and he's going up, up. And I thought it was a nickel at first, but it's not. It's a oh, button. Oh, it's a button. Yeah, I thought it was a nickel just yeah. walking up to it. With a shank. Speaking of buttons with oh. thread on it. Oh, boy, look at all that thread. Get, uh, there we go. Look at that, Bill. Wow, now isn't that chilling? That thread has been in the ground for... 200 years? Probably. Just a plain little flat button? Yeah, just about. We're going to roll out of here.
go get coffee and cheeseburgers, the locker's empty, and meet uh, FG and possibly Ninjen. All right, Cindy, so what's going on here? Um, I'm here with Faceless George. Correct. <laughs> He's talking to me about this awesome plaque over here. He talks about raids from the Indians. I hope that doesn't include me, Cindy. And right, Cindy, and she <laughs> dug six the other day in a row. Wow. She's Indian, so. Anyway, we're going to hunt a field to th this afternoon, and finally the temperature's cooler. We're, we're ready to go. <laughs> Bill went across the street, where we're actually going to be going now, and he found this. It's not old, right? It doesn't appear old. It's like, uh, I don't think it's silver. That's pretty fancy, though. But it seemed to be attached up here to something else. Yeah. Well, it's better than the rest of us, because right now it's wire excitement and beer cans. Oh, oh Michelob. Michelob. Huh? Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Hey, you know, I just, yeah, I just arrived. Nice. All right, well, we're going to head back to the shack. Look at that sun beaming over you. Isn't that just yeah. wonderful? It's beautiful out here, but I'm late. It's all right. We're going to head back to the shack and uh, do some more things. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, ready? We're going to get you prepped for the shot here. Okay. What is he doing here? <laughs> That's funny. All right. Really? See? Look. Look interested. There goes the proud pose. <laughs> oh, is that one of them uh, bird leg bands? A, a license plate, a chicken plate. Yeah, chicken plate. Does it have a year on it? It doesn't have a year, but it has a serial number, and I understand you can go to the website. The chicken registry? <laughs> yeah. Oh. How's, oh, how's your shin? He did hear voices, <laughs> but he didn't hear clown horns. Right. Nothing like cheeseburgers and coffee midday through a dig. <clears throat> I can feel the juices flowing back to my chassis already. Oh. No leakage. No. What'd you get back there? Cheeseburgers. Yeah, did you get coffee? Mm -hmm. I can't say. You're on a stealth petition, and you didn't get coffee. You had to tickle the continuum, didn't you? I'll go back and study the manual again. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, July 12th, Carl. Oh boy. All right, wait a minute. Hold up. Say it with yeah. me. Carl Dras von Sodrum. Slower. Carl Dras von Strabon. Oh, fancy. More Spanish. <laughs> oh my goodness! Demonstrates bicicleta. Okay, everybody ready? Three, two, one. That freaking Bill! This isn't Colorado! This is like the inside of a dog, it's dark! All right, yes, here we are. It is the end of this era in the continuum. So who knows what may come. But until then, stay young and always keep them guessing. And live, live free or die. die. Yay! Stay fancy Bye. and always be kind. Yes, I agree. Off into the darkness. place we'll find where all the love is showing many times with all of you the good times can't be counted all together one